been made by the Menahemes. They were thought of as Hawaiian dwarfs or brownies. The stones were brought from Mokihana. This quarry was not close to a permanent stream where rocks could have easily been floated, and similar rocks have been forced at a left It seems that Chad. Yeah, I'm coming. You're the last one? Yeah, I was just taking a video. <laughs> Nobody hit their head? Awesome. Uh, wow. Really cool. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> what? Man, put a roof on this thing. You live in here. So, there's a lot of people who hike along the coast. So if you come in here, you can see some of our stalact stalactites up here. This is a this is a, a real limestone cave. The entire interior was um, covered about ten thousand years ago. And this would have just been a water channel. Mm -hmm. Limestone's great kryptonite is water. And water comes in and, and um, flows through these cavities and caverns in here. Pretty impressive place. It's had, lime, it's had water that's flowed through all these cavities for decades, right? And so um, stalactites, a lot of them unfortunately were removed in the 1980s by a gentleman with his ball peen hammer. My name is Stephanie Maher, and we are now at a site called Russian Fort Elizabeth State Historical Park here on Kauai. This one and a half acre site, now called the Russian Fort Elizabeth State Historical Park, had at one time 21 foot tall and 15 foot wide walls running 300 feet in diameter. The actual shaped structure was a trading house from the dig in 1993 by the University of California in Berkeley had discovered a tunnel on the riverside which runs directly into the center of the fort. Cannonballs, gun flints, muskets were found and in 1993 these rocks were already here and when the Russians came they saw it as an opportunity for them to build upon it for their own 